Water pollution is one of the most crucial environmental issues the planet is faced with today. Water pollution is harmful because it destroys ecosystems and makes water completely inhabitable for plants and sea creatures. The wildlife, however, is not the only living thing that is affected by pollution. Humans also feel the effects of our own pollution through its effects on plants, animals, and the water we depend on. There are many causes of water pollution that affect the world we live in. Agricultural runoff, or surface water that leaves farms because of too much precipitation, irrigation, or snow melting, can result in traveling pesticides and fertilizers. Also, factories dump waste into nearby bodies of water, resulting in contamination of the water. Scientists have found through research that water pollution is rising at an alarming rate. Therefore, there have been numerous movements to eliminate unnecessary waste residue, usually leaded by interest groups and environmentalists. These movements have been the leading force in stopping water pollution's growth and instilling a sense of personal responsibility within different governments and the people living in them. The United States government and Congress have created two major environmental policies. The Federal Water Pollution Control Act of 1972 was put in place to restore and maintain the chemical, physical, and biological integrity of, our, of the nation's waters. This act relies on all levels of government working together with one goal of limiting our nation's polluting habits. The success of the Clean Water Act depends on the funding provided by the grant and loan programs, sufficient personnel, and accurate scientific data. There are, known, there are two known sources of pollution that Congress and the Clean Water Act recognizes. The first source is referred to as a point source, and the second, a non-point source. Point sources are often man-made pipes and ducts that empty harmful toxins into our waters. These sources are easier to control because humans created them and can usually modify them. The hardest and most crucial source to stop is a non-point source. These are the sources that cannot be pinned down to a particular entry because they are not man-made and are created by nature. Streams, rivers are much more difficult. Streams and rivers are much more difficult to, dis to control and simply cannot be altered effectively by man. The Clean Water Act requires each point source expelling polluting materials into the water of the United States to obtain a National Pollutant dis Discharge Elimination System, or NPDES, permit. The purpose of the NPDES program is to protect human health and the environment. The environmental issue of water pollution can be solved by changing what humans put into water. While great strides have been made under all these programs, there is still a need for increased funding, more data, and experienced staff to implement the programs put in place by the American government. The second act issued by Congress was the Water Pollution Programs Enhancement Act of 2000. This act provides a larger amount of funding for the Clean Water Act, but more specifically the non-point or nature pollutant source grant program. The act supplies our scientists with funding for observing and monitoring water pollution and in creating strategies to purify the water. The act also requires that the two studies performed by each group of scientists be presented to Congress. These studies will provide a comprehensive analysis of the wide range of programs being used to protect water quality and their costs and benefits. The studies also observe and examine programs found under the Clean Water Act and other state federal water quality related programs. Effects on the human population stemming from water pollution are mainly due to the dangerous chemicals put into the water. These chemicals and other pesticides each have their own devastating effects on our waters. The most known of these is DDT, or dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane. It was initially used with great effect to combat malaria, typhus, and other insect-borne human diseases, and for the insect control in crop and livestock production. In 1972, the EPA ordered a cancellation of DDT based on the harm it caused in wildlife, as well as DDT's potentials for harming humans. After the cancellation order, many studies have continued to exist, and discoveries have been made about the relationship between DDT exposure and the reproductive effects it has on animals to this day. Today, DDT is classified as a probable human carcinogen by the U.S. and international authorities. DDT is known to be very persistent in the environment, will develop in fatty tissues, and can travel long distances in the upper atmosphere. Pollutants in water greatly affect humans and their ability to live healthy lives. 
Water pollution is continu continuing to adversely affect the way we live. Until certain measures are taken, our water and the animals that live in it will continue to suffer. We must enforce the, the laws which discourage the use of harmful pesticides, fund the research to monitor and come up with ideas to stop water pollution, and most importantly, hold ourselves individually responsible for our actions.